Hey there Wargamers, Justin Cloud here and this video is going to be um, showing you guys what kind of army transports I use for my models. Uh, it's not something or an idea I kind of came up with on my own, it's actually a video response to Fritz's August contest and wanted his viewers and his forum community to interact with each other and kind of, you know, bond and I figured doing a little video showing what I use would be a little bit better than just typing in or maybe snapping a photo. So. Without further ado, right here, you can see the transport that I use. This is, it just says Army Transport, the uh, company I believe is um, Sabol Designs, I think that's what they're called. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but if you're f familiar with this at all, you also probably have heard of, um, I think it's Battle Foam. I like their transports from what I've seen, I like their foam. I don't necessarily like their price, they're a little bit expensive. Um, and the army transports are durable, a little bit cheaper, and do almost the same thing. Maybe not quite as efficiently, but if money is a concern for you, this is the cheap one to go with. If money is not a concern with you, then feel free to check out Battlefoam. I will also put that link below, even though I don't actually have one of their totes, but I'll put it below so that you guys can check it out. So, anyways, I'm going to get up now, and I'm going to give you guys a close-up of the transport. Alright, so as you can see here, again there's the transport. It's got a little zipper in the front here so that you can put your uh, codex or materials in there. It's got a little flap in the front. I usually find putting the uh, small rule book or templates in there is the best use of the, that space. And below here we've got another transport. Very large one, about twice the size of that one, and this has all my space marines. It has the same zipper and bag compartments on the front. The difference is it's got Turn this one on. So you can see here it's got a little uh, pulley system, a little arm so you can drag it around on the wheels. So uh, downside to that is that it's very top heavy uh, so and the wheels are very small so they go up, oh, there's the dog. And now, now she's freaking out because she's, you know, feels like she's in my way. So anyway, let's go ahead and show you guys what the inside of one of these looks like. I'm going to go ahead and detach the camera so it may be a little bit wibbly. Alright. Here we go. Let's see here. Alright. So, uh, mesh, mesh tote. So it's kind of, you know, I got a little give to it. It's not a hard tote. Go ahead and open this. Doing this one hand is going to be kind of tricky. It does have a little, you know, shoulder strap here. Alright, so first thing you're going to see is it's got a mesh layer cover the top. And there are my towel. Now, for any of you guys who are, um, are looking to get a tote and think this is cool or think, oh, these, the, these little sections may not be big enough for my models, I'm going to zoom in here and show you guys. This is perforated. So you can see the lines. And it's in like a little grid. You can you pluck this out and you make the hole for the exact size of the models that you are trying to fit. So if these were like uh, salt marines or something, the backpacks these might be a little bit wider, you know, sockets for them to fit in. And it's little you know one quarter inch trays so you can fit them in there. More stuff right here, same kind of concept and I think. I've got two more trays to go through, and I'll show you guys a slightly larger tray. See something other than infantry. You can see they're kind of just, oh, you know, these are larger squares that I've plucked out just to fit in a whole bunch of drones or whatever. All right, so this one is a larger tray, and you can see it's got all my hazard suits in there. Crisis suits, got a broadside, three crisis suits right there. There was a another crisis suit right here but took them out uh, it was a broadside conversion I was trying to sell so anyway this tray I'm not gonna pull it out because uh, I don't need I would need two hands it's a little bit flimsy um, this tray is a I think a three or four inch tray so it's uh, a little bit bigger than the other ones obviously it's got the, the big guys in here really good for vehicles and whatnot and the way these are if you can imagine uh, you're looking straight down at these now you know you're here you know they top load 
so they're all stacked, which is really nice. And then for anyone who's wondering what these are, these are just extra uh, drone stands that I had, and I know where to put them. So in these trays where I had extra foam, and it wouldn't get in the way, I just kind of poked them in there. Good, good extra use of the space. So, anyways, flip this around and give you guys a quick goodbye. All right. So I hope that that was somewhat uh, informative for you guys and useful. Um, as always, always, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Uh, please leave comments below and check out Fritz's page. Um, not the greatest reason to go over there and check out his forms, but you could win free models. So, you know, what have you got to lose by signing up? You might actually enjoy what's there and you might actually enjoy the community. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day.